Apple's new triple lens setup, and Google has filed a patent for a foldable device. This and more. First up, the rumors for the new iPhone 11 camera setup on the back. This was released by Mac Otakara, a very credible Japanese blogger who says that the rear camera setup will be that of the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. And this is kind of consistent with a render that was posted earlier in 2019 mm -hmm. by OnLeaks, who, who had the triple block rear camera setup. Now there was a few differences, or I guess one main difference was the orientation and alignment of the, of the lenses. The recent render put out by Mac Otakera shows a more symmetrical alignment with the three cameras and then the flash. However, OnLeaks posted a render that kind of looks weird. It has kind of two lenses here and then like two lenses on the bottom. Not a big fan of that, to be perfectly honest. Like the Huawei. Yes. Mate 20 Pro. We know that Wall Street Journal have also stated not only is Apple planning on releasing three phones in 2019, but the XS Max successor will have a triple lens camera and the successor of the XS and XR will only have a double camera. Unlike what Wall Street Journal was saying, Mac Otakara says the XS successor and the XS Max successor will have the three cameras set up on the back, not just two on the XS. And we do also know that supply chain analyst Ming-Chi Ku and Bloomberg's Mark Gurman have also backed the triple lens camera for the upcoming iPhone earlier this year as well. Now, we also saw a weird Cyclops designed by Compare Raja earlier this year that a lot of people were hoping would be the camera setup on the back. What'd you think, Nathan? I wasn't the biggest fan, but I also didn't mind it if it came out like that. I know that you absolutely didn't like it. It looked like ass. I felt that it kind of, it goes along with Apple's symmetry look that we see on the front of the screen, right? Every iPhone on the back has had the camera in the top right hand corner, always. Always. So we'll see if, if these renders that we've seen are true or if we're gonna get the Cyclops up or maybe if there's gonna be a triple lens just straight down. Other cool features that are coming to the iPhone supposedly are a frosted back design, which would be kind of cool, similar to the Pixel 3. Also more RAM, especially on the XR version, up to four gigabytes. And the screen sizes will stay the same with an LCD being for the XR again. Moving on to the Google patent. Patently Mobile posted that Google has released a patent for a foldable device, which may seem that they are hopping on the foldable device bandwagon like we've seen with Samsung and Huawei, Motorola and other companies. The patent shows a couple of methods for a folding display. So the patent describes a way to fold an OLED panel without any wear or tear. Samsung states that their fold can fold for hundreds of thousands of times but I'm sure in a lifetime, you're gonna fold the phone more than that. So what happens after that? Google's apparently can fold for much, much longer. One thing that we notice is that Google doesn't actually produce their own displays. And we've seen that from the Pixel 3 or, and the Pixel 2. Mm -hmm. The Pixel 3's display was produced by Foxconn and the Pixel 2 was produced in joint effort between HTC and LG. So it's likely that if they are to produce a foldable device, they will just simply outsource this patent to whoever is producing the panel for them to create it on their own. Now, we're gonna be going through the patent images to see which one is the best option. The first one shows a laptop-like fold where you can position the screen in any position and it'll stay rigid. The second one shows how it could look while it's folded, which is similar to a wallet where the fold section isn't actually folded completely flat. The third option is a Z option, which kind of looks pretty cool. It's completely different to the first two images, but could be a cool implementation. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that third one. We haven't seen a tri-fold yet. I know Apple has released a patent for a tri-fold, but in terms of a physical product, nothing has been out yet. One of the other images show that the fold is gonna have a minimum bend radius, which means that it's not gonna be a complete kind of fold as you would fold a paper. Another thing that the patent does not say is smartphone anywhere in it. It does say it's for a modern computing device, which could be a smartphone, tablet, or laptop. Now, we do know that tech companies release a lot of patents that don't actually become physical products, so it'll be interesting. And lastly, Apple and Qualcomm are in legal battles, and just recently, a US district judge stated that Qualcomm has to pay Apple a billion dollars in royalty fees. So kind of the backstory on this, Apple and Qualcomm went into an arrangement where Apple suppliers would pay Qualcomm to use their Qualcomm pat patented technology. Apple then would in turn pay these suppliers back. 
Qualcomm also had an agreement with Apple where Qualcomm would pay Apple rebates if Apple didn't pursue any legal implications or regulators associated with this matter. Now, Qualcomm said that it stopped paying these royalties or rebates because Apple, they said Apple infringed on, on their agreement by making these false statements to the Korea Free Trade Commission, who at the time were actually investigating Qualcomm for antitrust allegations for things like bribery. However, Apple said that it was providing lawful responses to regulators as part of this investigation against Qualcomm. Now, like we said earlier, the judge went with Apple and now Qualcomm has to pay up to a billion dollars. This is just the pre preliminary hearing. They're gonna actually go in a few months to actually hash it out. This is pretty big because if Qualcomm has to pay a billion dollars, I mean, to anybody, to any company, even if they're worth that much money, a billion dollars is still a lot of money and I'm sure it's gonna impact the company, their finances, and probably their, their design department as well. Well, these were our rumors for today. Let us know what you guys think about the new triple lens set up on the back of the iPhone 11. And subscribe if you're new.